Yes, it really is. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the return of StreamingSportsTalk.com, and you know we can only return with one show. It's Jeff Leaf and your boy LG, but you got to be freaking kidding me. Hey there, LG! Uh, it feels good to be back, and now we are in East Lake, Ohio. What do you think about that? No. Well, I hear myself. Well, here, turn this little thing up. Can you hear me? No. Turn your mic. Move your mic around. Can you hear me now? There you go. Oh, there you go. How about that? How about that, folks? We are back and we're live from the new StreamingSportsTalk.com studios right across the street from the beautiful Lake County Captain Stadium. Absolutely. All summer long, we'll be bringing you live it's events beautiful. via the StreamingSportsTalk.com live cam that's going to be showing some captain's oh, fireworks, yeah. some captain's play, and hopefully a few live broadcasts from the captain's field. That would be beautiful. Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah, Leaf. Yeah, you know, then that. again, I guess we got to cut down the language if we do that. Well, if we do a live broadcast, though, whatever. We oh, we would be fine with that. Hey, Kenyon Johnson, can you hear us all right back there? In the I hear studio? you great back there. You guys are sounding good, looking good. And uh, don't forget to shout out to our live broadcast that we'll be doing tomorrow sometime in this show, okay? That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Tomorrow from the Crown Plaza Hotel in beautiful Middleburg Heights, it'll be Kenyon Johnson and myself, LG, the voice of Cleveland Sports, live from the Lake Erie APA, the American Pool Players Association. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. $10,000 worth of uh, prize money being awarded. You like pool, Leaf? Yeah, I love pool. And I was little... just about to say, you know, oh, thanks for the invite. Well, we just found out about this. You, we just shirt uh, up uh, no. the deal this kiss morning. My, kiss my ass. You want to come? I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with you guys. He's done with us, man. Yeah, I'm done. You want to come? No, oh, jealousy wears its ugly head. Do you want to come and do the live broadcast? No, I don't want to come with you guys. You might as well, man. We got six hours to talk. I don't like you guys. Come anymore. on down, man. No, do I'm some commentating you know about the uh, pool playing. You want to come or not? No, no. I got a I got a big party tomorrow night. I got to go to right next door. A big door. party. Yeah, I do. A big, a party. big party. A You're big probably party. the fucking dope pusher, knowing you, man. A dope pusher? Yeah, a here's bastard, a dope pusher, man. okay. A brick bastard yeah, dope pusher. Dope. Kenyon Johnson, man, you got the cops on the line. Well, no, what I, is this? I don't snitch. What is this right here, man? He's got the Number steering wheel. Number 88. That is Dale Earnhardt Jr., you dope. He's got the steering wheel. I think he, he's trying to hump the steering wheel. Kenya, and this guy's trying to have coitus with the freaking steering wheel of the car, man. He's having- hey, that's what they say about he's race car drivers. He's, coitus. He's having coitus. Coitus interrupt us when you got to get up to answer the phone. I didn't realize you knew those big words. Stop coitus. stripping off your bone. You're walking across the bedroom to grab the phone, man. I say, you know what? Let it ring. Yikes. Let it ring. Boy, you were on top of your little fucking game tonight. Look at this beautiful What are you studio, looking around? Man? Yeah, we got to look around. Got Tim Couch jersey hanging up there. We should have had all 17 of the quarterbacks that went through Cleveland in the last 13 years. <laughs> yeah, and all the 30, 34 coaches. But if you, think, if you really think about it, if you really think about it, since 1999 and the Cleveland Browns have came back, the most famous quarterback ever, and maybe because it was the first one, is Tim Couch. Tim Couch. Yeah, he's the one that got his ass beat the most. The poor <laughs> bastard didn't have a chance when he came to Cleveland. You know what? We we definitely got to cut a hole over here. Well, we're definitely going to cut a hole. These folks can't man. see it, but man, I I mean, I love looking at Kenyon's lovely face. We got a control room, now, Leaf. Yeah, it's like a big time. Oh, when a control big, room. We're big time. When really? you're big time and you're on the air, man, you don't see the guys working in Jeez. the in the booth. I, I just, what, what if we were at like Wembley Stadium in London? The guys out in a semi truck. No, I don't. You know what? I don't give a line, shit. Man. You know what? Maybe he. You know, Kenyon gets online enough. I That's agree. Right. We, we, we need to we that. need the whole cut because no. from this shot, if we can get a girl in here with a nice mini skirt. This is a great shot for me right here. You're fucking stupid. That's what you are, man. You're giving the shit away. You don't say stuff like that over the air because now they're going to know what the hole's for. Or maybe they will, since they know what the hole is for, maybe they will Oh, you're talking about a glory hole. The glory hole. 
Go ahead and drill it out. Stick your little dick through there, uh, and you don't know who's sucking it unless you feel one. You track. feel his mustache, and one you gotta get worried. One track mine. <laughs> one funny. track mine. If anybody's gonna be sucking anything, it'll be you behind the glory hole. We oh, know, is that what I'm gonna do? I wanted to suck off John Travolta for the twelve grand. You know what? Nothing against against Kenyon, but I liked you on that other fucking side when I had the uh, the film to myself. Okay, now man. I got to sit next to you. You were too much of a pussy to even come here and do a show last week by yourself. Well, I tell you what, I'm here every Friday because right after your show, every Friday is the ultimate drag racing show with Kudra, who are changing from Thursday, and they'll be here tonight from nine to ten. So I'll be here every Friday. Every Friday, oh, there you have no, it, folks. Kudra, maybe we'll the see. Coalition of Urban Drag Racers. Well, okay, you know what? Let's talk about something. Okay, all right. What do you want to talk about? Okay, you know what? Maybe I'm going to piss off Kenyon. You know, he is an African-American black man. Don't talk about Michelle Obama. Not, no, I'm not going to. Not but gonna I'm going to stay black, though. I'm going to talk about, himself okay, white. the NBA. Who is this, this team? Uh, and this guy started bitching about that there's too many white people on this team. Did you guys hear about this year? Must be the Dallas Mavericks or no, San, no. San Antonio Spurs. Min- oh, okay, who's who's Minnesota? The Timberwolves. Timberwolves. That is the one. There's right, many because white guys no black team. people. Did you, did you hear about this? No black people want to play in Minnesota. They don't want to go to Minnesota. Well, so when know, they become free agents, the only people what? they can get is the white people. I, I, I mean, you know, what well, why was this is that, Kenyon? Because... Most of the white people don't have a team to play on, so they might as well play in Minnesota. Oh, why doesn't the black man want to go to Minnesota and play for the Timberwolves? Well, they do it. They draft them. They'll go there. But as a free agent, they will never uh, choose Minnesota. And tell us why. Because it's freaking Minnesota. Have you ever been here? It's cold as hell. I've been to Minnesota. Okay, it's cold as hell. I mean, Cleveland is like 20 times better than Minnesota. I thought maybe there was no barbecue. No, they don't, they don't want to play like there that. because there's <laughs> nothing but a bunch of fucking crackers on that goddamn team. I thought maybe there wasn't no bar. Well, my boy, shout out to my boy, uh, Kevin Love, man, who, who who really represents for Minnesota Timberwolves. That that dude is a beast. Kevin Love. One of the best power forwards in the Kevin NBA. Kevin Love. And he's Came a white guy. The fucking porn movies, man. Yeah. And Kevin. shout out to my boy, Kevin shout out Love. to my boy, Prince, who was born and raised in Minnesota. <laughs> I thought he was from Indianapolis. Kevin Love. Prince was from, fucking Prince, that? Prince was from Minnesota, born and raised. And then what? He moved to Indianapolis because he couldn't take the fucking cold and the lack of barbecues or what? <laughs> Oh, geez, lack of barbecues. That's what it is. You man. prejudiced little bastard. I'm not prejudiced. Oh, neither am I. Yeah, everybody's prejudiced to You know point. who's prejudiced? Who? John Bonner, the freaking Speaker of the House of the Representatives, man. He's one of the most prejudiced son of a bitches I ever met in my life. And if the Ohioans were smart, they'd get rid of that sad bastard. No shit. That's what you should be playing, Kenyon. Sad bastard in tribute to. John Bonner, the son of a bitch and prejudiced guy that's running the house I want to get back of to representatives. This. Hey, man. you know what? You guys cut all over that shit. I want to get back to this this black man that was sitting there pissing and moaning about that the NBA is prejudiced Minnesota. You want to get back what? to that after break? Oh, my God. Yeah, this guy. I'm sorry. This guy's an asshole. I listened to a, a couple of interviews. If it was a white guy, would you be bitching? Yeah, I would. Absolutely. I would. Well, there you have it, folks. We're going to take a short break from the You Gotta Be Freaking Kidding Me show. We're going to come right back and listen to Jeff Leaf's rant on the prejudiced black guy that doesn't like the white guys playing for the Minnesota Timberwolves. That's right. And I got my, I've got my cape and hood out there. If you and Kenyon's going to get pissed off at me. If you got anything to say, give us a call right here, 216-672-4300. We'll be right back in about two minutes with more. Okay, you got to be freaking kidding me right here live on StreamingSportsTalk.com. There you have it, folks.
Hey, welcome back to the You Gotta Be Freaking Kidding Me show right here live with Jeff Leaf. Hello, folks. Ben missing in absence. Uh, you know, I don't even know what the hell happened to Leaf. He was. Who the hell's he missing? Was, we already got a fucking phone call. Unbelievable, man. <coughs> hey, and by the way, the bitch. you know, LG mentioned we're right across the street from the captains. We got fans out here right now, folks. You should come down here. Free autographs only today. Free autographs today. Leaf's going to give you... Uh, you know, on your boobies. Right on the boobies. Yeah. We got a Sharpie, too. For days. Who called it? I brought a Sharpie. Nobody likes us. What do I want to, you know? Huh. Kenya, we got a phone call, man? Fox! Larry, what's happening? Fox, you son of a bitch! How the hell are you, bro? <laughs> Amigo! We're good, baby. Hey, it's good to hear from you, man. Where the hell you been? I just been busy, you know, with with all this stuff happening and stuff. What the fuck? Tell us about this son of a bitch in Hanford Dixon guy that fucked you out of your shirts, man. Tell it. Tell the people that are out there listening to the "You Gotta Be Freaking Kidding Me" show what the hell happened to Fox out there at East LA Browns fans. Uh, I don't really want to get into it, you know, but every, everybody who follows us knows what's happening, you know. Well, that's it, man. So what's going on, Fox? Well, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, too much. What do you think of this Pittsburgh Steelers, man? They got to play the New York Giants this coming Sunday. Well, I hope they stump on their ass. <laughs> no, get out. Really? <laughs> hey, by the way, Fox, I'm going to change the subject a little bit. I saw on uh, Facebook uh, your daughter, Dusty. Yeah. Yeah, you, had, you were standing there, well, kneel down with her for Halloween. That was a beautiful, yeah, yeah. beautiful picture, brother. That was Thank very you. nice. Leaf's got he's all teared up over here, Fox. I'm fucking yeah. stop it right now. Well I'm surprised he's not taking a shit right now. <gasps> yeah, as much as shit Leaf likes to talk about. I think he's got a problem with that, man. Yeah, you're gonna have a fucking problem after this show tonight, you Did know. you hear what he said? He says he thought you were taking a shit. He's surprised you're not taking a shit. Leaf's yeah. got a shit. Hey Larry, did he did he kick you in the balls already? No. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, he did. He did. Fox asked me what what was the comment I gave to you and he goes, by the way, kick kick LG in the balls. I don't know why you would want to do that to LG, Fox, man. Yeah, because he ain't got no fucking balls, so I couldn't kick him. Unbelievable, man. Beth, Beth's got him. She's got him in her purse right now. Hey, Fox. You don't need baby, baby. Fox, what baby. do you think's going to happen this week baby. with this election coming up, man? You got any favorites? Nah, I stay away from that. Good man. <laughs> Fuck that shit. You're not going to vote? I'm going to vote, but I... I just don't talk about it. Man, I, like I it's think too political. Everybody gets up your ass either way. But you Fox, know? I think Romney is a Latino man. Yeah, he is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a Latino, and I'm 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 Jewish. Okay. <laughs> yeah, can't you see my fucking yarmulke? Well, for Fox, you know, ahead. I've never been over your house, man. But one of these days, I'm gonna come to L.A. and do some partying with you, brother. But I just want to ask you: Are you in a Latino neighborhood? No. Okay, because I, I haven't heard of uh, I haven't heard of Mitt Romney visiting any Latino neighborhoods either, man. What's what, what's up with that? Any what? He doesn't visit the Latino neighborhoods. I heard. I can answer that right now. Go ahead, Leaf. Because there's there is not a majority. Yeah, I don't know. I, they don't give a I fuck. I over here, um, South Orange County. South Orange County, man. Yeah, I I live like ten minutes from the beach. That's beautiful, man. Take the kids to the beach. That's why I was teasing all you fuckers this week. Oh, yeah. That, that, now I remember, Fox, what you were bitching about. <laughs> oh, hey. Hey, Cleveland. It's 75 degrees. It feels great over here. I was like, you know what? Fox right here. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sitting there freezing my ass off. Electricity's out. Oh, here, there, here's one for you. Not change subject. Okay, our electricity was out for 38 hours, right? Who, whose was? Mine. So what happened? You couldn't shove the vibrator up your ass or what? No, I got a kickstart. It's a, I got a kickstart. It's a two-cycle. You believe that shit? Fucks. Not a fucking problem. His vagina. His fucking battery-operated vagina oh, wasn't working. The thing that's killing me about this shit, people are pissing and moaning around this area. Okay, you lost the electricity. It went down to 60 degrees in your house. You lost some fucking groceries. And people are whining and crying about when on the East Coast, 
these people lost their fucking homes. Not only Period. that, they lost Pirates. their they lost their fucking roller coaster too. Hey, I'll tell you what, yeah, yeah. Jersey Shore. I'll tell you guys what, in Fox you can hear too. I would rather lose my home than my groceries and lights. At least I can make a come up if I lose my home. Insurance is going to pay me out. I, I'm going to build a hot tub. I'm going to build a uh, state of the art bar in my basement. I mean, I'm really going to come up. They take my home. I'm good. And then, then you're going to put me in the embassy suite for like seven months. I'm good. <laughs> listen, listen to this. Listen to this black man behind the wall that we cannot see. No, you hear, you see them. No, I'm just saying, you see them old people on TV crying. I lost my home, but and then, but you saying that if you listen to them in the same breath, they say, "I'm gonna stay here and rebuild." Hell yeah, you gonna rebuild? You gonna be living in a life of luxury? Well, right. you know what the problem with losing your home is. In fact, you could probably testify to this, brother. You not only lose your home, man, but can you imagine losing? Every picture of your kids from the time they were born until now, man. You lose everything. Every Fuck fucking them time. little badass kids. Yeah. Well, you don't have any kids, Kenyon, so you don't have that emotional Fuck attachment, them. man. Fuck them little badass Yeah, you lose all your memories in there. Yeah, Should every I? fucking thing you had in your entire life is now gone, man. That's, can you, that's a bummer. Can you run this show? I'm going to go over there. There's some kick things. His ass. Yeah, go kick his ass. I'm going to. You know, he's a tough little guy, man. Just because he's 4'11 <laughs> don't mean you can't beat the shit out of him. I don't give a dude. shit. I got to carry him. <laughs> And I got the fucker right accused, back here. He was accused of headbutting a guy that was at least six foot eight one time. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck did he get? A goddamn little giant ladder? <laughs> I don't know how. I'm gonna headbutt you, motherfucker. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Now I climb up this high. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how the fuck hey, he did. Oh shit. I think, was, I think he was wearing those shoes with the springs in the bottom. That little fucker can't hit but my fucking belly button, goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. I think he, I think he had him. Five. You ever see them shoes with the springs on the bottom, Fox? The oh. kids wear them? You strap them on like roller skates oh, with springs. That's right. how he did it, man. He took a run and jump. Boom. Fucking headbutt this son of a bullshit. bitch. He had a fucking Knocked trampoline. Knocked him right on his ass. He had a fucking trampoline for quite a while. I'm going to headbutt you, motherfucker. Hang on a minute. All right. I got that's a, the that's, that, that, that's enough. That's enough. Hey, that's Fox. Enough. That's enough. Fox, you watching the show? Nah, nah. You, you're not by the computer, huh? Guy's going to show nah, you this thing I, over I, here, man. I, I Leaf's going to fuck in, it. You know? Leaf's going to fuck it after the show is over. I am? I'll, yeah. I'll watch it after. <laughs> you, can't see, you can't see this little bob on my dick's... Yeah, it's small enough to fuck it. <laughs> so, facts. Tell us, man. What's what's going on out there in L.A. right now? Anything cool? Nothing cool. It's uh, hot. 75 degrees. Come on, Fox. No, Rub nothing at all. Nothing, man. This just, is a fucking bar in November, huh? I had a buddy come down from Cleveland what? Uh, last weekend. So he came down to my house and uh, we watched the game here. It was awesome. It's good to have the brother down here from Cleveland. Well, that's fantastic, man. Nice win, seven six. Well, when the fucking yeah, truth. Then he flies out on Monday and it's fucking a storm over there. <laughs> I don't even know how he got back to Cleveland with all the damn airports that were closed down all around the country and shit, man. Unless he had a direct flight right from L.A. to Hopkins, man. No, he made. He was there Monday. He made it right before they shut everything down. Oh, man, he got lucky on that because, oh, boy, yeah. those people stand around the airport well, for two or three days. <laughs> yeah, well, unlucky in that respect, but, I mean, you know, it's better than standing in. You know, here's the thing. <laughs> Say you fly from L.A. to Cleveland, you land in freaking Minnesota where no black man wants to go to play in the NBA, and you're stuck there for fucking four oh, days. Oh, God, yeah, Minnesota's terrible. <laughs> Because they ain't I'm got a cracker no, and I don't want to fucking go they, there. They ain't got no plane to come and pick your ass up and take you home. No, no. no you That's can't what go. the problem is. You man. can't go there, period. I tell you, this hurricane, you know you know what Rush Limbaugh said, don't you? You know, you're not political, Fox, but I got to take you into a little political bullshit right now because, you, you know, this Rush Limbaugh says that Barack Obama manufactured this fucking Hurricane Sandy just so he could get more votes, making himself look more presidential. Oh, fuck We're you. fixing shit up after the storm. Oh, yeah, they just had a show on the other night about controlling the weather. What do you think, Fox? Dude, I don't know. <laughs> you think this guy could have manufactured this hurricane just so he could get more votes next week? You know what I'm going to answer for, Fox? He could give two fucks about this right now. Let's talk about something else and bullshit and fuck around. <laughs> 
This fucking oh, hurricane is big news, man. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's unbelievable. People lost their homes. Like I said, I was out of uh, power 38 hours. Whippy shit. Oh, it went I down the have 60 Have you guys got any calls today? Huh? Have you guys got any calls today? Yeah, you're the call. <laughs> hey, hey uh, Fox, Fox, you are our biggest fan. <laughs> we love you. <laughs> so you guys still only have 10 viewers. <laughs> no, no, uh, yeah, no. We got a counter down here. We got a, We got uh, how many viewers you think? I don't know. What's what do you think? I can't see it. Hold on. I think about 3,000. There right you around. go. Right around there. Right now, as of today, we're at 2771, and it keeps bouncing back. So you, you, it keeps coming on and coming off. So whatever the fuck y'all talking about is making people drop off, then they come back on. So well, you I, I think they want to hear Fox talk more. I don't know if that's Fox, 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 right. Fox talk more. We're at 2771. Talk a little bit more now, to Fox. He doesn't like hearing us talk. Fox. Oh, yeah. What do you want me to talk about? Okay, we're at 2772.73. We're at 2787. We're at 2791. They want to hear Fox more. Fox, you think we can get a win on Sunday with the Cleveland Browns, man? I know we're all rooting for one, man, but uh, I'm a little concerned about it. We're going to fucking win. We're on a fucking mission. What's the mission? Tell me. To win. The mission is to keep winning. Let's do this shit. It's our time. It's our time right I, now? I like the Jimmy Haslam do. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Did Fox? you see him all pissed off two weeks ago, that son of a bitch? I, he should have went in the locker and, and choked that motherfucking Sherman out. Who should have did that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing at fucking. Oh, that's Jimmy. right, man. You're laughing his balls off. <laughs> well, why did he? <laughs> he didn't look too happy last Sunday sitting up there in the rain either, Fox. Oh, no, yeah, he no, was no. pissed. I think Sherman's days. This guy's gonna turn this shit around. I think. Well, that's. I think next year's the year we're gonna be doing this shit because I think this year's a bust out already, man. Oh yeah, we don't let. As time. soon as we get rid of Pat fucking Shermer. That's when the Browns are going to unleash themselves, man. Dun, 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 that, that's when it's going to happen. We got to get rid of that fucking scumbag piece of shit head coach. Right, Fox? Yeah. What you son of a bitch. Dun, 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 dun. What are you think of this guy's head coaching abilities, Fox? Well, I got head coach for you right here, pal. <laughs> <laughs> Is he? Oh, look at you. What are you fucking looking at? I'm not. I'm listening to what Fox is going to tell us about this fucking Sherman. He's giving us fucking balls. Getting choked out by Jimmy Haslam. Oh, choked out, Yahoo. Mm. Well, it didn't take him very long to get rid of him. To send Shermer to the fucking Pittsburgh Steelers over there. That's right, man. That way they'll have a losing season. Ah, fucking Shermer's going to go here, motherfucker. Teabag that fucking son of a bitch. I don't even want to put my fucking balls. You know, in his you face. notice one thing, Fox. It didn't take Jimmy Haslam very long to get rid of Mike Holgram and his fucking eight million dollar a year payroll, did it? Hey, how are you? Huh? Not at all. He's he's bringing it. So, what do you think of that move, man? It was good. So, good. So and even Holmgren knows it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because he's probably still getting $8 million a year for two more fucking years. <laughs> Wait all next year. Wait all next year. You think anybody's teabagging Holgram right now, Fox? Who's teabagging him? <laughs> yeah. Sin, Sin, Sin Dusky. Dusky over there. Wait, well, Sin Dusky is. But, well, oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry. He's a little too old. You know, John okay, Sin Dusky. Okay, guys, we got to pay some bills. I know y'all enjoying the conversation. Oh, we need to pay some bills. Got to pay some bills. But uh, John That's Sin right, Dusky. I got to race. Pay hey. some bills. Sin Dusky's kid works for the Cleveland Browns. You think Shermer was in the shower with him, Fox? Sin Dusky kid Hello. not only works for the Browns, he's the director of personnel for the Browns. So how do you think he interviews the players that he wants to bring into the Cleveland Browns. In the okay, shower. You, you talk polo well, music. It, no, no. Sandusky's kid is the director of personnel for the Cleveland Browns. What do you guys think he does to get the players in? Does he say turn around? No, he interviews them in the shower, does he man. <laughs> yeah, with the polo music on it. <laughs> oh, right, Fox? Oh, oh, oh. You crazy bastard. <laughs> <laughs> 
I can't take it. <laughs> 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 we're going we're to take a short break right here, and you've got to be freaking kidding the show for a minute. We'll come right back and talk to you some more, brother. Right here from StreetSportsTalk.com. Wahoo! See him, we gotta cut a hole in there. My name is Omar. 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 Now he's back to incognito hey, again. I am Omar. Hello. How many short for you? How many short? Uh, nobody knows what my name is. It's hey, Omar. How you many short for? black guys do you know walking around the streets that needs help getting the shit off the top shelf at the grocery store? <laughs> He carries around with them little trampolines with them. What's those things you buy the old people? They can't bend over to grab something. Oh, yeah, the little grabbers? Right, we gotta well, go. I'm not sure I see some uh, crack in his pants. That's funny. <laughs> there he is, talking about crack. Crack, crack, oh, crack. Oh, gosh. Hey, what did I bring up during the break? Conjugal visits. What about it? In jails. What do you think about that? I think it's horseshit. There are six states, I can't remember them all. They're allowed to go ahead and have conjugal visits. I don't want to go for that. I think they come down in a rape in the prison that way. No, nah, bullshit. I don't care. You commit a crime, you go in, you suffer. And if you've got to take a guy, you take a guy, no, you don't get a woman. Period. That's go disgusting. Ahead. What do you mean? Disgusting. That's, no. why, that's why you just don't do the crime. Yeah, well, exactly. He fucking brought a little shit when he said, if you can't do the time, don't do the crime. Or I'm going to shut my throat <laughs> in your ass. Or no, don't do it. <laughs> and he had the parrot. No, yeah, he didn't have the parrot. It was a, a, caca, a cockatiel. A cockatiel. A fucking bite your foot. A cockatiel. I'll take my hand with those two. I remember. Holy shit. Well, what do you think about that? Seriously. They were talking about it a couple of weeks ago. Conjugal visits. I don't go for that shit. There's a reason for it. 
What's your reason? They don't, they don't want these guys going crazy, man. Hey, hey, LG, they committed a fucking crime. Bullshit. You're supposed to go in there and suffer. That means you don't get no, excuse me, you don't get no pussy. If these guys are all like uh, in a country club, think about it for a minute. They get dental care, mm -hmm. eye care, right. any kind of medical care. Right. And now you're telling me they're getting laid in prison. Yeah, uh, and they are in six states. One guy was seeing the prison system before because he said he had a religious belief that he was supposed to have steak, lobster, and nasty spumante every Sunday. Oh, we're talking about Al Capone. No, no, this was a real guy, man. He said he wanted steak, lobster, and nasty spumante every Sunday. It was his religious belief. So he was suing the state for this. I'm not oh. kidding you, man. I no, said sure. 60 minutes one time. So, in other words, I could go to jail? Tell us how my religious belief is. I need mean, three different versions every day. That's my belief. Speaking of origins, you see why I just sold her virginity on the internet for $780,000? Yeah, to some Chinese guy. Uh, and, and the one guy who made me for it making me a prostitute or whatever. They were going to be the Royal Club. No, forget about that. He was going to fuck him up in the air. No, both of you guys are listening for a minute here. I listened for a minute. In Brazil, okay. prostitution is perfectly legal. Okay. She is Brazilian. I thought she was Australian. No, she's Brazilian. I don't know. Go in there a little bit more than I do. So. Since prostitution's not illegal, she sold a virginity for seven hundred eight thousand dollars, man. Well, you, know, you know what? Uh, uh, no, no way, what? I no way to ever spend that out of her. You even got seven hundred eight. You can see me sitting there with like five bucks in your. You'd be sitting there wrapping up a pussy and going, "Oh, that don't feel good." Oh, oh, oh! What are you doing? What are you doing? No, I'd rather spend seven hundred eighty thousand dollars on someone that's experienced. No. They're going to drop the piss out of you. A virgin? Come on, LG. That's so no, you want to do it, man. I don't know. No, it's fucking right. Really. But then again, that's me. I'm right out of the room before the streetlights come out. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. That was good. You know, you know what? Yeah. You know what? You know what? You know I know you're not into this election. I know you don't like politics. Oh, but I'm going to talk a little bit about Mitt Romney's wife. Okay. What is with this bitch, Mitt Romney's wife? She goes on television, every crack of the chance she gets, she goes, I have MS. Mm -hmm. It's hard for me to get around sometimes. Oh. I'm suffering from MS, and I can't keep up with Mitt Romney's hectic schedule. And, 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 and so sometimes I have to stay behind. Oh, well, and sometimes my husband, he has to spend another $150,000 for people to escort me around. So, so let me ask you a question. So, so continue. Right. Is this a lady that we want representing the United States in the White House? I can't get up today because my MS is kicking my ass. No, no, no. You know, the first ladies do things like they exercise, show the kids what to do, they plant the garden, they do all kinds of things. They plant the garden. They do. Look at like Michelle that. Obama. She had that big garden out there next to her. Oh, that's house. all photo op bullshit. That's I don't think that's she was, she was in there working in the garden. Oh, God, it's just like, you know what, just like our little, uh, like when you're walking around around the room, like a pastor, you know what, it always cracks me up, you know. They come in, president has it buttoned down a couple of times, sleeves rolled up. Here's the disaster. I'm ready to work. It's all fucking photo op bullshit. Oh, oh wait, we're talking about who's not ready to work. Okay, who's ready? Right. I want an answer to the question. the question. Huh? There's no garden on the fucking white. Uh, uh, there is a garden when they got 8,000 fucking people taking care of the thing. Oh, I'm sure they have. It's, it's a photo op. But she's out there working in the garden. So go like uh, it. Michelle, come here, come here. I gotta ask you guys. I know you guys are in a deep conversation. Oh, we're but real deep. Yeah, whatever you're talking about. I, I just need to know. Um, I know November 6th is that it, everybody's going out to vote for who they need to vote for. I need to know you know, who are you two voting for? I mean, for, it was starting with Jeff for Barack Obama. Oh, man. I, didn't, I just said I'll start with Jeff. I didn't say I was going to I'm voting for Barack Obama. Okay. Uh, now, now, what I want to know is, is do okay, wait, wait a second, guys. This you know, you got to be freaking kidding me, show. So, first of all, I would like to know, Jeff, 
Why are you voting for Romney? And then LG, I want to know why you're voting for Obama. Uh, go ahead, guys. All right. Me first? Yes. Uh, you know what? I have to be honest. You're going to be I honest. Have, I, have been, I have been on the fence with both of them. And you know what? Really, this finger pointing shit, and I blame both of them, it doesn't matter. I'm sick of this shit of, okay, now you're right, you're right, break. You did this, you suck, and then, and then, I don't want Romney. I approve, oh no, I'm Barack Obama. I approve this message. Then it goes back to, okay, uh, Barack Obama, you're an asshole. You did this, you did this. I'm Mitt Romney. I approve this message. You know what? I gotta be honest. I do not know who the fuck to believe. I really don't. This finger pointing your microphone off, Kenyon. But you know what? I mean, LG. You know what? It's just like right now. Okay, you and I are bullshitting on this show. Okay, I'm gonna look at you again. Oh, Omar. I'm gonna I'm gonna look at you and go. Omar again. Okay, I'm gonna sit here and go. LG was on. I was on again. Mr. Again, Mr. After, Mr. Howard, Mr. Again. So, if the only reason you're voting for Mitt Romney, from what my, my understanding is, because he's white, because you don't like the campaign commercials? Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. I'm definitely running because he's white. I got it. He's not He's not white. Oh, that's bullshit. I mean, he's not sure he's Latino. He, he, he got his hair done, so he don't know he's Latino. But he is Latino. Well. You know what? Like I was saying, I, I really do not know what to say. I, I was about to say, you know, just LG and I sitting here bullshitting on the way to the parking in the L- microphone. LG, you're a dick. And then you come back and say, no, Leaf's a dick. I approve this message. This and that. You know what? I don't know how to fucking believe anymore. Here, listen. It's I, been my way for you. I mean, if you don't know how to believe, you know what? I'm just... Uh, Believe me, believe it or not, I'm flipping a fucking coin. That's okay. terrible, man. Okay, tell me. You talk. Why am I voting for Barack Obama? Is that the question, Kenyon? Because he's a black man. Yes, yes. yes. Why is yes. yes. LG voting for Barack Obama? You get the I'm hats from Michelle. I'm voting for Barack Obama. You get the hats from Michelle. No, this is serious business here, man. First of all, you don't remember November of 2008 very well when your 401k took it right up your freaking ass, don't believe you. How much money did you lose on that day? George Bush and Hillary Hank Paulson were still in running the government, and the Treasury Secretary, Mr. Paulson, stuck it right up your ass, man, and still trillions of dollars for his buddies at Goldman Sachs that the Republican Party left out there on the table so the normal guy could get screwed. Okay? Now the housing market's starting to make a slight rebound. You have the jobs are picking up a few more over a month. Four years of complete disaster. And what kills me is when you see a presidential debate and Mitt Romney says to Barack Obama, we can't have another four years of this. He doesn't understand that it's taken four years to get back to where we're at today where you can finally go out and get money to buy a house you want. You can finally get a car loan. We could not even get car loans in this country because the financial institutions were on the verge of freaking collapse. Thank you to the eight years of Mr. George W. Lewis being in there, not doing nothing but playing on his own movie and starting wars over there in Iraq and Afghanistan. And that was his representation. Another thing, another thing, you know, pre, pre-Obama, everybody wanted to get Bill Lott. That's what everybody wanted. Nobody could find him. You know who found him? You know who found him? Barack Obama. Yeah, he found him while he was doing it, he, while he was out air talking. While he was out air talking, we had his boys go and get him. You know, he had uh, uh, Saddam Hussein. You know, all these guys that everybody wanted executed, when the guy was in office, Barack Obama took care of it. And it seems like everybody forgets about it. And what I respect about Obama, he don't even have to mention stuff like that. Well, here's the problem. Oh, no doubt. 
No, 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 listen now. Forget listen. about all that bullshit. The country was on the verge of financial collapse, man. And one of the things, those terrorists wanted the country to financially collapse. That's why we were attacking Manhattan, New York City. That's the financial pipeline of the entire oh, free world. Absolutely. The entire free world. Yeah. Okay? So now, we're slightly coming back. So we have a whole deficit. If this way, you know, first you had Mitt Romney go, let the freaking car companies go bankrupt. Liz, how many more people are going around the current line right now if Chevy and Chrysler went out of business? I have no fucking idea. It's millions of people, man. Millions of people would be out of work. There's millions of people out of work right now. You know what the problem is? Fucking America is lazy. People in this country don't want to work because they sit on their fucking lazy asses in front of their fucking video games all day. And these kids are sales excuses. If we ever go to war, we're going to get our freaking asses kicked. We got a war over here in Afghanistan. Don't feel that LG doesn't feel for every death, but my God, in 10 years, 4,000 people die in a war. Are you kidding me? How many of our grandfathers died in the Romano Beach invasion in one day, man? Oh, fuck, I'm a little That's what I'm saying. In one day, hey, hey, hey. Here's another one for you. But wait, there's so many people in our fucking country, like, say, okay, a bad neighborhood in Detroit. I remember her this years ago. Okay, yes, it's a terrible loss. All these people get lost overseas. You know, they're fighting for our country. Oh, uh, in one day, they topped it out in our own country because of fucking crimes. Well, let me tell you it something. It sounds like to me, Jeff, I mean, have you heard it yet? No. no uh, okay, I, it sounds like to you me. You might be able to hear it for a while. All right. No, 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 let's get back to this for a minute. I'm going to tell you something in a minute that's really going to turn out that on our left side because we'll know this is a true statement. These guys are going to take my ass up the Yeah, listen to this. Now you've got all these people sitting on their fucking lazy asses playing video games complaining there's no work. Leaf, how many fucking times in New York have you guys tried to find qualified people to come in and do a job? Oh, God, they're not out there. Period. You were training with somebody who wanted to come and leave, weren't you? Uh, yeah, but you know what? They can't learn a fucking thing. I've trained, tried to train. Oh, four-year degree college kids. <laughs> no, 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 Let's talk about out in the shop. Those toy makers make a damn good living, don't they? Oh, fuck yeah. Can you find anybody that wants to come in and work and get their freaking hands dirty? No, yeah, and that's the big thing, LG. They think it's bubbly. Uh, oh, wait a minute. I have to be a college businessman. And well, I'm telling you, there's all kinds of good jobs now in this country where people can come in and start making $16, $17 an hour to start working. Oh, and they can't fill the positions. Mm-hmm. You know why? You got these lazy sons of a bitches sitting in front of a fucking Pac Man all day playing video games. Right. Or, I don't think they play Pac Man anymore. So, well, whatever they're yeah. playing, man. Right. It's, it's, they're playing like Mountain and. Uh, you get the show out there and play it. Pack the play. You get off your fucking lazy ass and go out and get a job like everybody else, man. Right? Well, you got to get off your lazy ass and get a job and end the show because you know what's coming up next. I'll tell you right now, man, what you got to do is get out there Tuesday morning and vote for a guy who has this country making a turn along. Do not vote for Mount Romney. Romney wants to spend $2 trillion on the military, Jeff. Oh, me. I said Romney, but you know what? Wait, I really honestly do not know. Wait, let's finish this point. Okay, for you, you know as well as I do, we both worked in defense contracting. We've done jobs that have to do with defense. Romney wants to put a budget through with $2 trillion in defense spending. Why? The military is not asking for that. They don't even want it. He has all his rich frickin' buddies that are in the defense contracting business. Who knows this? Oh, yeah, I've heard that. There's billions of dollars in defense contracting. Fuck you. So you got two trillion, that's a thousand billions times two. Well, but how much money is Mitt Romney's buddies gonna make on defense? But you know what, Drew? I am not at the point of knowledge of everything. But you know what, like I said, okay, I'll make it simple. All right, Barack, he's an asshole. Mitt, he's an asshole. You know what? I read shit. I don't read a lot of it like you. 
I don't know who the fuck to believe, honestly. I'm honestly. Uh, you know you fucking black man. Vote for the black man. Vote for the black man. Shit, I'm a cracker, motherfucker. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, my God, I'm talking like a black man. No. Half a crown line. You know what I got? Most black people out there here can kick my ass. I'm not, I'm not coming home tonight. They're going to steal my ass up. <laughs> Don't take care of you, you cracker, motherfucker. Don't vote for Barack. Yeah, yeah I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> I'm gonna go in there and I'm put Barack Obama back in there. This is the fucking way of my state of Ohio. Don't make a mistake and vote for the news parcels. Shut up for a minute. He's gonna That's what?